Hi, welcome to Swift Sense. I'm Debbie, and I had a couple things I want to talk to you about today. We got some new things, some in the mail, some we picked up in some of the rack stores today. First thing, I want to give a shout out to Michael Dinsmore. We received from him a nice little decant of the Sensual Obsessions version of Andy Warhol. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. Um, thanks for sending that. It's a very classy uh, item you sent there. Uh, let's go ahead. I do have dry downs of these, so we're going to give you both of those. I had smelled this at um, Scent Explorer, but it's been a little while. That's been a few months ago. Wow, it smells really good. I really like that scent. To me, it's a little bit on the spicy side, a little bit warmer fragrance. I'm not sure what the notes are that are in that. Um, but they really do fantastic work at Central Obsessions. Uh, let me go ahead and get the dry down of that one for you. So it maintains that spiciness throughout. A little bit on the woody side. I'm gonna have to give that a wear and see how um, you know how long the longevity is of that. But I do like that fragrance. That's Central Obsessions version of Andy Warhol. Michael Dinsmore, thanks for sending that out to us. Speaking of decants, we do have a website where we offer decants. I'll put that link down below for you. But for the holiday season, we have some different gift sets. So we have this size that holds 310 mils. They'll look something like this. We have this size, and this holds five, uh, yeah, five five mils. They'll look something like this. And then we have this size, which holds three 15 mils. So check out the website. Let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help you out. Again, I'll put that link down below for our Swift Sense decant. The next two things I want to talk to you about, uh, we picked these up at the rack store. The one we picked up, this is Unforgivable by Sean Jean. And we picked this up because we'd heard that it was uh, similar to Millicene by Creed. And so I wanted to just go ahead and check that out. I did have a chance to check what the notes are between the two and honestly neither of them have similar notes. Oh man, to me, honestly to me, this smells kind of soapy like laundry soap or dish soap. I'm not, to me, I'm not really sure that that's going to be very close to millicene, but we'll we'll try it out later. This is the dry down. So as it's drying, it still maintains that soapiness, but it's getting a little bit more, to me, citrusy. Um, but that's Unforgivable by Sean John. I actually picked this up in Ross today. Um, I started working there for the holidays, so with my discount, it was like 26 bucks. Couldn't beat it. And then this one, and I'm probably not pronouncing this right. The light's not the best here. Anyway, it's called Petunia. This is actually just some cheapy fragrance I bought for $12.99. But it was open, so I was able to smell it, and I really liked it, so I picked it up. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet and floral. I really do love that a lot. Um, it says Mark, looks like Mark Bagley and Jenna Milsec. It's kind of hard, it's kind of small writing. Um, let me get the dry down on that one. So it still basically smells just like the opening, still very sweet, very floral. It's called Petunia. I don't know 100% that that's what Petunia smells like, but again, very floral. So we do have some other great stuff we're expecting in the mail, and we will be getting some more videos out for you. Go ahead and click like and subscribe. Put your comments below. Maybe you've tried some of these. I know a lot of people have tried the different Central Obsessions. Maybe you have Andy Warhol. Let me know your comments, and I'll see you next time on Swift Sense.